y'all hey what's happening if you're new to my channel my name is tasha marie tmr how you doing baby all right if this is your first time here and you have not yet subscribed please do so at this moment and if you've been watching me for a while and you just realized dang i'm missing all of tasha marie tmr's videos well girl go on and click that notification bell and make sure you click the top option, which is all. So therefore you can be notified every time I drop a new video. And if you've been watching me for a while and you just like, mm, girl, go on, hit that subscribe button. You know you love me. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. What's up? How y'all doing? How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is doing great. I am, so I hope you are okay. Okay. All right, y'all, we got some stories we're going to talk about today, okay? We got some we got some humor in our stories, and we got some serious stuff. Not super serious, but serious enough for our audience, okay? Okay. All right, y'all, so I know y'all came here to hear what your girl got to say. I just want to say this really quick, though. Don't forget that your girl got a cooking channel. Yes, girl, yes, I got a cooking channel, okay? I just posted a video over there today, all right? So make sure you go over there when you finish watching me here. Make sure you go over there and watch me over there, okay? Okay. All right, y'all, let's get on into this. You know, y'all, you know, when I was in school, teachers were very mean. And to me, they were old. You know, because, of course, I'm young and they older than me, so I just figured you was old, right? Well, you know, at the end of the day, things just hasn't changed. Um, if you can see right here in this clip. Okay, yeah, yeah, people protesting. Well, the reason why in uh, Duval County, Florida, Jacksonville, um, there's a high school there, Sandalwood High School, well, there's a math teacher there that is refusing to identify uh, children with a gender identity, um, refusing to uh, talk to them using pronouns. Mm-hmm. You heard me. Okay. Now, for all my English challenge people, a pronoun is a word that replaces a noun. Let me give you an example. Okay. Instead of saying Jack and Jill went up the hill, you say he and she went up the hill. That's a pronoun. Okay, okay. Now, I'm not going to get these lessons all the time because when you come to the channel, I need you to already know. Okay? All right. So, yes. So, a math teacher at Sandalwood High School sent a student an email and said that he refuses to identify him by using a pronoun. Now, this child identifies as a female. So he wanted the teacher to refer to him saying she or her, right? Well, he said he ain't getting ready to do that. Uh-uh. Teacher said, I call you by any other name, but I'm not gonna call you by a pronoun. I'm just trying to figure out why this teacher was so hooked up about a pronoun. So, like, you don't want to call him her? Why? Like, what's the big deal, you know? Okay. Well, at the end of the day, the, the student, of course, got upset, feel like his rights was being violated, and they were, okay? Because we do know our federal government has made a lot of uh, laws um, helping, assisting people with gender gender identity or the LGBT community to be like anybody else, okay? So the student wrote an email to the principal and the principal was like, oh no, not in my school you won't. So the teacher emailed the student back and said, don't you worry about it, I'm going to take care of it. And what ended up happening was, the, of course, the whole staff of the school had to be retrained, rightfully so, um, and the teacher just got some counseling or, or you know, just, she, he wasn't fired or anything. He just refuses to call the child 
she, okay? So here's the thing, right? I get it. I understand. This is probably your older teacher. Um, I'm not going to say super antique, but older, okay? And a lot of people don't embrace that mentality. Like, they don't understand a woman who feels like she's a man or a man that feels like she's a woman. Well, at the end of the day, although this is a child, but this is still how he feels. And my, my, like... If you're going to be a teacher in the school system, like you're going to have to get used to that. Like, because it's going to happen every year. You're going to get a whole new set of students and it's going to be somebody who identifies with a different gender, you know? So, yes, I do feel like that was correct. I, th I feel like the whole staff needs to be re-educated on how to handle th those sensitive matters. Because it is a sensitive matter. Although you might be a person who don't, approve of it or don't believe in it, but you can't push your beliefs off on somebody else, right? Especially being a teacher, you have to know how to deal with a diverse situation, okay? So y'all, we hope um, uh, Mr., uh, we're going to call him Mr., Mr. Math, the math teacher. And you know what was funny to me? Because I'm thinking to myself, well, you really ain't got to say nothing to her or him. That's her. You could just say, hey, uh, you, uh, hey, you, you know what I mean? I mean, there's a way around everything, okay? And at the end of the day, you only got him in your class for 45 minutes. Don't pick on him to ask, answer, to ask, you know, you put a question on the board and you need somebody to work out the problem. Just don't never pick him or her or whatever, okay? Okay. All right, y'all, moving right along. We're going to move on. To our next story, okay. Um, uh, this lady right here. Okay, that's Miss Hudson, um, uh, Marzita Hudson. Okay, Marzita also lives in Jacksonville, Florida, and Marzita is behind on her rent. She is two months behind on her rent, okay. She owes for July and August. Marzita unfortunately lost her job. She has, I believe she has, is either two or three children that live there with her. And her landlord um, is wanting her to leave. He's calling her a professional squatter. Now, here's the thing, though, y'all. Her landlord is the pastor, okay? His church is next door to her house. Well, the landlord did not serve her an eviction notice being behind on her rent. What he did was he hired some people to come over there and just made her situation living there unhabitable. You heard me, unhabitable. I'm going to show y'all this picture again and make sure you look really close behind her. Yeah, uh-huh. The door just wasn't wide open, baby. There is no door. Okay, yeah. He came over there. And he took the doors off the hinges, front and back. Uh, he removed the kitchen sink, stove, refrigerator. He also turned off all the water in the house. He also removed the toilet and sinks in the bathroom. He said, if you ain't going to leave here, I'm going to make it uncomfortable for you to stay. She owe him $800, y'all. Now, here's the situation, though. Unfortunately, uh, Miss Marzita needed a place to live when she met this pastor. She They agreed verbally to let her live there for $400 a month. But there was no lease. Okay? So, there's no, there no law protecting her because there was no signed lease. Okay? So Marzita says, you know, she's not understanding. She said if she had the money, she would give him the money. Now she has sought legal counsel for, I believe it's free legal aid. But this is the problem I have with that story, y'all. Marzita said during the day, they there, her and her children. She said at night, she's going to stay with different friends' house. Uh, baby. Why is you in a house that don't have no water and water, no sink? You can't cook. You can't use the bathroom. 
when you're there doing a the day, baby, what you doing? Like, what, what y'all just sitting on the porch? What, what y'all doing? Like, if you got somewhere to lay your head at night, you can't stay there during the day. You already not working, so you might just stay there all day. I mean, and at the end of the day, why live in that situation? Now, I get the rent is cheap. It's a reasonable amount. She said it's a two-bedroom house and $400. I take that on any day. Okay, okay. But once he came in there and removed all the stuff out of there, like, what was the purpose? And my thing is this. Here's the problem I have with this. He's a pastor, right? Church right next door to this house. He, his church helps the people in the community that's in need. They do clothing drives, food drives, and whatever else. People who are in need go to this church for assistance. Well, why you can't give your tenant that same respect? Y'all, what is with these pastors? And, and, and they supposed to be men of cloth, and they just acting like straight Satan. What is going on? We didn't have two pastor stories where they just acting not godly like, okay? So at the end of the day, y'all, we gonna pray for Marzita. We gonna pray that either she find her a job or one of them friends' houses she's staying at at night. They go ahead and let her stay during the day and on the weekends. And we pray this pastor, we pray for him to have a more gentle heart. Okay? Okay. All right, y'all. I got to give me a little bit something to drink. I know you girl, but I did my cooking video. Then I, I'm coming at y'all with this video. Y'all know I be working okay. But I don't mind because I enjoy doing what I do. One thing I will say, y'all, I truly, truly enjoy doing my YouTube channel. Okay? So thank you so much for clicking on my video. I appreciate it. All right, y'all. For the next story. Now, make sure y'all sitting down when I... Okay? Just... Don't be standing up. Make sure you're sitting down, okay? If you're driving, pull over, okay? Right here. What Was that a lion or a tiger? Child, that was a 26-pound domestic cat. His name is BJ, and they call him Mr. B, Okay? He is at the animal shelter in Philadelphia. Uh, the name of the animal shelter is Morris Animal Refuge. Uh, BJ is looking for a home, y'all. They looking for him a home, and he is 26 pounds. And he's only two years old. He has a long life expectancy. Now, if y'all don't know this, it's a fun fact about your girl. I have two cats of my own. Honey, if that cat would have came in here, my cats would be like, girl, are you crazy? Child, my cats would pack up their litter box and they food, and they'd be living outside, okay? Y'all, that was the biggest cat i ever seen in my life. Like, at first I thought it was a joke, but that's truly real. He is looking for a home. So anybody in Philadelphia, if you're a cat lover, and you want to give this almost 30-pound animal a home, go over there to the Animal Refuge. Let me give you the name again. It's Morris Animal Refuge. BJ is looking for a home. Okay? Okay. All right, y'all. All right. So we're coming on to our last story, okay? And uh, this story, you guys, is about a reality TV show. Y'all, Y'all know who this is right here? Okay, y'all know, that's Basketball Wives, yes. Well, they had an episode the other day where um, they got into a fight at the skating rink, and I'm going to show y'all a clip of that right now. Women sitting in the skating rink fighting. 
Malaysia had a 90s skating party. And uh, Jackie Christie, allegedly, she said, they said she said that Malaysia kids was dirty. Okay? Some he say, she say stuff. Well, they get to fighting. Well, they said uh, Malaysia's aunt was there and said Jackie hit her in the head with a table or something, okay? And this is all I want to know, y'all. Why is every reality TV show when it's black women or women, period, y'all, because they even do that on the Real Housewives of New York and in Orange County, all that, why is they always fighting? Like, why is it depicted that when women get together, they can't be civil? Like, that's what irritates me about these reality shows. Like, it's always a fight breaking out. And it just be so, it's, it's, it makes no sense. Like, you, you ladies are supposed to be classy, not trashy. Okay? Like, what is the deal with all of that? Like, I'm not understanding that. Why is our, these, you know what? You know, Shaquille O'Neal's ex-wife, Shawnee, she's the producer of that show, okay? You know, y'all, if you don't know, that show comes on VH1, you know, and it, I would just, you know, the way Shawnee portrays herself, I would just think she wouldn't allow all that. Now, I get it, you guys, with these reality shows, we talked about it before, people love drama, so they got to put a little drama on it, but I'm just trying to figure out every time those ladies get together, somebody's either throwing a drink on somebody or somebody throwing a chair, I'm just not understanding that. Like, why do women have to be portrayed in such a stupid manner? Like, we just don't know how to be civilized when we're around each other. So, hopefully they'll figure that out. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not a real basketball wife. I'm not a fan at all, okay? I used to watch it a few years ago, but then the storylines got tired and weak, and y'all got bored, and I went on to something else, okay? Okay. All right, y'all. That's going to be it for the Car Chronicles today, i.e. we not in the car, but when you watch this, you should be in the car or you might be in the car. All right. Make sure you guys come back and see me again. Until the next time, y'all be easy. And remember, y'all, sub what you love. Bye-bye. <laughs>